right, so we've just gone through and I, I'm, well, first of all, I'm making some storm windows, right? But what I've gone and done is I've, I've put a glazing rabbit on all of these styles. These are all styles, right? The verticals. And the mortises in them. Okay. And now I have to do the rails, you know, and so basically, like, look at you know, this, this screen frame that we did earlier. Basically, what I mean, storm window is nothing more than a screen frame like this, except we add a little shelf on there to put the glass against. All right, that's the difference. And they still get a rail, top rail, a mid rail, and a bottom rail. But the difference is, is the way they intersect, all right? And I think that's what I'm gonna, gonna get ready to show you. Uh, okay. So I've got this is 2S6, all right? Okay, this is my dedicated saw for cutting the tenons on the end of these. And I'm gonna show you something here. Basically, you know, I cut a tenon on the end of these rails the same way I would for an ordinary sash, okay? Except, except, well, let me show you why there's an except. Um, let's see which one this one goes with. Uh, 2S6, 75 and 3 quarters. That's one of my shorter ones. That's one of these, okay? I'll just pick this one up. Yeah, that's one of these. Sometimes it's good to check. Yep. Wait, that's 79 in the brief. Wait. Wait a minute. See, that's why we checked. Yes, it's 75 and three quarters, so it is going to be one of these. First one, right? You always want to like be really, really careful with the first one. See, that's not even it either. That's that's the one anomaly that I have. I wrote on it. I so I wrote short. See that? Right there, so that one's not it either. I'm gonna put it over there. Yeah, 
There we go. 75 and three quarters. That's my overall length. All right, and look. Um, oh, this is probably gonna, let's see if this guy fits in here or not. Maybe I need to adjust something. Here's something that see when you run in the mortise or sometimes I like, see how that's like a little offset right there that little guy over there um, maybe shifted one way or the other so what we're gonna do we're gonna clean it out making sure it's clean okay. and it probably is at least it is now anyway <laughs> very very rigid bit in there it'll still you know it still has some flex to it so, i guess all that is I'm, I'm trying to show you something here let's see now oh okay okay so here's something first of all That's not gonna fit in there like that. See, maybe I would be tempted at this point, you know, to elongate my hole a little bit. You know, say, Steve, your hole's not big enough. Ah, oh, but see, I know something here, right? Is I know I'm gonna cut some of this out to make a shelf like this, but in here. Ah, oh. mm. okay. Well, so I'm gonna take a different piece, okay? this piece here and put it in and show you okay so look ah so here's here's what you here's what i'm trying to show you okay you see how morris and tenon fits pretty good all right but it doesn't it doesn't go in all the way because you have to you have to cut out some more you have to cut this out so that it actually drops down into place you see that all right so i've got that I've got that over on another saw, just right over there, okay? So, this guy. Uh, I'm gonna use this, and... I hope that sled works. This is, this is called a sled. Oh, yeah. I've already got it set up, okay? So... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this in now, okay? That's what that is. So that's basically, you know, how you know, like you make a. Uh, I guess that's called what you would call a um, like offset shoulders, right? Because on a tenon, you know, these are your shoulders here. 
So those are offset a little bit. Uh, but still, but here's the other thing too, look. So we don't have a place for our glass. Okay, so we gotta take this piece out. Okay. And I didn't cut all of them because this is my first one and I thought, well, what if I get it wrong? Well, apparently it fits pretty good, so I'm just gonna uh, cut it over here real quick. Yeah. You wanna let in? You gotta do your let in on the same side. You know, now that I've done the lead in, okay, and this piece will go right there, okay, like that, okay, but I still don't have a place for my glass, okay, but my glass is going to go in this little area right here, which means that, yes, this long part here has to be taken out, okay. I've got the saw set up just for that, okay? I'll show you that. That is right over here. I had the feather board set up because I was using those. I can't use the feather board anymore because I've got three different sizes, so I'm gonna take that off. that looks like I mean this is the wrong hole obviously but oh ah, see how that works and then a nice little rabbit right there see now the glass fits against that little shelf okay and everything is let in real nice okay boom huh you see that right there that was the first one I ran and I ran it wrong so all right well I can fill that one out of 15, you know, okay, not bad. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna run these real quick. Yeah. And I have to remember to run the long side. This is really easy to get confused.
right, let's see how it all goes together. Oh yeah, that's nice. All right, and this is my middle rail here. Oh, that's really nice as well. Okay, and then, oh, that looks like it's the right size too. Oh boy. I'll stick with it. Yeah. I'll stick it over here a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh, so nice. Perfect. That's just perfect. Then this guy will go Using the fist hammer. Careful, you don't want to hit it too hard and do a blowout. Something's holding it, so let me get a little block of wood. Yeah. I want to blow out the back side. So. Oh, yeah. so nice. All right. Well, I guess except for that one little thing I did right there. That, that was the where I set it in the saw the wrong direction at first. So that's my first one. That's 2S6. And uh, I will um, nail them all together. Well, I'll use like a stainless steel staple or something like that to hold the joint together, to pin the joints. Life is good. And what I'll do is, once it's all, they're all pinned, before I paint them, before I put glass in, I'll take them over to the house and I'll fit them so that I know that, you know, when I put the glass in, when I put the paint in, when I put the weather stripping on, all I have to do is take it over there and it goes in, life is good. Right? So, but that's the first one and I've got all the rest of these to do and I won't bore you with all those details. But I, I did want to show you that you know that offset lead in you know that uh, offset shoulder for the uh, mortise and tenon joint now I guess the last thing I'll say is that you know, basically it's a shaker style cabinet door really so. all right guys 